What is going on, everybody? You're McLaren's Peach Shop World Champion coming at you, and we have something silly, something to pass the time with, because again, just kind of waiting around for everything to get updated. This is a recording that's just post, like the bands and everything. So we got the, no, it's going to be banned, so RIP Sakazuki. So that's gone, and Great Eruption and Reject will be gone as well, but still waiting for everything here in the, the West to kind of get updated. So we're kind of still in a bit of a void. So we have the information, but we still just everything is just not caught up. So we got to wait around for that. So while we're waiting around, going to keep things wacky with some more uh, some more random stuff that we got. And yeah, we're going to try out uh, Ivankov. And Ivankov, I've been messing around with. It's pretty trolly. And I built it to be just maximum silly. So it's all, all about like weird hand manipulation type stuff is what the theme is. But uh yeah, we got the new cards, some EBO one in here. We got uh, Inazuma, and then we have uh, the Gum Gum Champion Rifle. This card is actually like, depending on when you use it and like how you use it, can be it's absolutely insane. Because uh, not only do you get the 2,000, but depending on what's on your opponent's board and like the timing, they, your opponent has to return one of their active characters to their hand. So if they only have one active character, depending on what it is, and you use this, and they attack like leader first, that character has to go back to the hand. Or if they have like two characters out, you can wait, also kind of wait and trap them to get them to try to attack with a character. And then if they have a blocker or something out, then they have to send uh, their like blocker or whatever other character is like active back to their hand. Because again, if they attack with a character, that one becomes rested. So that one then can't, they can't return that to their hand. They have to return an active one. So this card, I think, is pretty cool <laughs> just for that, and also has the like the trigger of three or less. Uh, besides that, with the events, I have two red rocks in here just for again. That's just one character gone, and then we have the the new raging tiger coming out in OP06, uh, where you get to place two. But both of these are kind of in here mostly. Like yeah, the trigger effects are very very big. But the deck revolves around this Ivankov, so you want to get this one. Because uh, playing around when you go don't get this is kind of a struggle a little bit just because uh, you want being able to chain summon like our 7Ks because this is 7 and then you get to do any impel down that's 6 or less. So we're bringing out the new Inazuma or this Luffy. And this Luffy is massive because on play you get to trash two cards, return a cost 4 or less to your opponent's hand. But also when attacking, so that's minimum 70k attack, you have two cards that you can just trash from your hand you get double attack to this guy. So that means if you're, depending on the stage of the game, especially if you chain it, your opponent probably is only gonna have like maybe one four cost block route. And being able to just send that back like a Borsalino or whatever is pretty cool. <laughs> At least uh, I think so, I'm messing around so far. And yeah, this minimum of 7K just coming at them as well, so you can stack that. But then uh, how it all works, again, trashing cards, because leader ability, end of your turn, you have zero cards, you get to draw two. And then with the new Inazuma, it's even bigger because uh, if you have two or less cards in hand, you draw two. So with that comboed with our stage, which uh, the stage card lets you draw one trash one from your hand, but then you get to trash up to three cards from your hand. So depending on your what's uh, the stage of the game, and if you need like some bailout cards, you can just delete everything in your hand, and then you're, if you have both of these out, you're gonna get two and two. So you get four cards just drawn off in uh, off the stage there. And besides that. For more maximum silliness, I have four puddings in here. I feel like you might not need four, but I don't know. Depending on your opponent's stuff, it's really funny to be if they're, especially if you're playing like green or yellow, uh, and they're trying to stall you out and build cards in hand and stuff like that. Just being able to drop this and mix up their hand, I think, is fun. And just kind of, I mean, it's just a little bit of like the the roulette gamble because obviously it could backfire. Like if they have a bad hand, then you could completely give them something good, but. Depending on, I feel like they have a bunch of cards in hand, being able to play this and get them down to five is pretty big. But yeah, besides that, uh, we have Buggy, because again, everything kind of operates around, you want to get this, you need uh, this Ivankov for sure, and then you need at least one of these, so that's why I have Buggy in here to be able to search around for these, and then everything else is kind of like, sort of like a little filter action. Uh, I have what, Gion in here for the 2K, but also though too, you play this, I think it's fun, because uh, Depending on who you're playing, if your opponent activates an event, they have to return one card from their hand to the bottom of the deck, and that's just silly to me. And then for more filtering action, we have Kaya, again, because we're just trying to get to this early. So we have this, and this is our kind of turn one plays. And yeah, besides that, we have Bonclay, 
which is uh, our 2k counter which is what he's mostly used for but again another option to be able to summon if uh, like you don't get one of these like if you need to drop this it's pretty good also same here we have a blocker with mr. 3 so I've played off in that as well or just to be able to drop and mr. 3 is pretty good because again get a trash one card from your hand at the end of the turn so you can attack with mr. 3 and then trash a card at the end of the turn and get him back to being active which is pretty cool but yeah this deck uh, I mean it's something different something silly and fun I feel like uh, you know change thing change up the pace if you want to experiment around with something goofy and just be able to like I don't know make your whoever you're playing with potentially frustrated with the constantly sending back cards to their hand or like bottom decking so like we have Luffy we have the champion rifle we have pudding and stuff like that just to be non-stop returning things to their hand but I feel like yeah you can mess around with some stuff if you want to make things even more silly I feel like you could uh, bring in what the breakfast one for early game to be able to uh, send back whatever your opponent is and stuff as well but I don't know this build not a not a whole lot I feel like you probably not the most optimal but it's built around being the most silly so it's optimized in silliness and yeah <laughs> I don't know, I've been having fun with it so far it's the uh, it's kind of like decent if you're able to get this Ivanka off and hit the chain so it's been decent and fun but yeah we'll jump into some games and we'll show you how it goes all right see how this goes we got a uh, we got some options so we got a pretty decent opening we have uh, our counter be able to make a play here so we'll see how this goes I think uh, we'll just launch the old eight on five here okay they go crazy with it block <laughs> that's wild to block out all right okay if that makes them happy I'm kind of very okay with that honestly so that gives me five so I could do so we could drop this or we could drop uh, th I kind of want to drop Gion instead because I have the blocker which could come in handy later but this is more chaotic and so let me just attack them five on five all right and then because if they throw down their searchers like the the search to search for anything then we can make them bottom deck a card so I think that'd be funny all right so we'll do that <laughs> and then I'm saving this just in case depending on what they do they trashed Okay, I these play, they're playing wild and wacky. This is uh, all right. And no, do that. So now they have to recall this. So there we go. Alrighty, so. That's cool. That works. <laughs> and then because they activated a... Uh... I, I don't know why they made them send something back. That's all right. Okay. So, oh, we get another one. Well, I got this and this. So I can now just send this back. And then we can attack twice. All right. So let's see how this goes. So deploy this. Deploy this. Use the card action. This and this send that back and now we will attack them t with two five on fives all right but they're playing a very very aggressive okay they're playing I uh, they're playing so aggressive like defensively it's nuts so five on three okay and seven on five all right so we get buggy all right, interesting. So I have this, two coffee sticks. All right, or do I do this and this? Because then I can leave this. I could use this, still attack them. I can literally just attack them for seven because they can't block out. And then I use our ability to send this back to their hand. Take two, and then, or, hmm, do I attack this? Force them into 
blocking. And I feel like sending it back to their hand is better. And so let me attack them, use a card action. I'll trash this and this. Just send that back. Okay, well, that's fine. So I'll just attack that. I'll play Ivankov again. And that leaves me with two. Um, <laughs> well, I can just attack him once for free here. Alright. So, we'll see uh, what they do here. We got our stage. I have this. I have this. So, I mean, even if they do attack... Yeah, they're playing... They're playing crazy. They're attacking just me. Well, I'm just going to get them to return this to their hand. <laughs> so, Ray's going back. <laughs> they quit. <laughs> Alright, well... Off to a good start with the... Uh, <laughs> the Our deck. I mean... They were playing wild and crazy with defense. I'm not gonna lie, that was nuts. Oh, I can't. It's not letting me look at their at the trash. Man, oh, it's just glitch because it says waiting for opponent. But yeah, I uh, that was wild. I did not expect them to be that aggressive, trashing uh, so many of their like lower level guys. But <laughs> being able to return their stuff to hand is pretty fun. <laughs> pretty goofy and yeah I don't know quick uh, kind of quick dub on that one so we'll take it alrighty so here we go we got some this may be a tough one <laughs> just because uh, I feel like uh, I mean I don't know I have two six costs we have this I have a blocker and we have buggy so I could set get this set up draw one trash one we we'll kind of go from there but I don't know if I get a Vonk off we may have a chance the only problem is just if they get their other stuff kind of going so let me draw one. Oh, we got a Vonk off okay sick <laughs> alright so we have this stuff so we have our, our triangle so gonna be tough because again we're going up against a removal deck here uh, and we'll see how it goes so we get to draw that gives me one um ooh, I could do two buggies so yeah let me trash that and then throw one out here we'll attack them six on five see what they do so they take the hit there we'll throw down one buggy I'll grab ooh, we have both of these hmm come on grab a, a Dang, I don't know if I should grab another one. Hmm. Hmm. I'll grab the 2K. Because we have another one. Alright, and then I have another Vonkoff. Okay, so that kind of works out. Alright, so we'll see how this goes. Because uh, this is going to be a tough matchup just because of the chain summoning that they can do with the 2. So they can attack us here. And then summon something from the trash, but kind of see how it goes. So maybe they'll whiff. So they gotta discard one card from their hand, and then the two cards. I assume they have to have a, a four cost for their bark here. <laughs> so, all right. So they're doing that. They're gonna bring in somebody. All right. So they bring in either Absalom or Perona. So Perona. Oh, they're gonna make me trash a card in hand, huh? All right. Well, I'll trash that. And I guess we gotta take the hit there. Okay, we got 2k, which is decent. Alright, so that gives me 5. I get a blocker here. Alright, so we need to make a one more turn. I could attack two sixes on him. Alright, well, let's do this, though. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, let's do that. So I'll do a 5. And then I'll do a 6. And then we'll keep this, just in case they play, do do some silly shenanigans. Because then I can block something and then send something back to their hand. And then we just got to hit the chains from there on. So I could go this into this. Because we'll get the two cards at the end of the turn. Potentially. 
We'll see. We'll see kind of how things play out. All right, so they're blocked with the Sabo. All right, so I'll attack them six and five. Okay, so we get them there. All right, so we'll see what happens. Because I think this may work off in the, the on play thing. So we'll see. So they have four. They have Absalom in here. All right, so I'm gonna have a seven and a six, but if that, I assume they they have the they definitely have the cost reduction to be able to get rid of the, uh, at least they only can get rid of one of them. So I may do this first, just because then I can do that. So five on two, um, that's fine. Can't do anything about it. All right, so then they're attacking. Let's see what they attack with. All right. Hmm. Okay, well, the 9 is a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> I can't, uh... Alright, Absalom to get this. Because unless I make the play... To do this, this, and this. No. We'll just do that. Alright, um... So how do I want to go about this? I could go... Hmm. So 7. Or attack this. I could make the Luffy play, get rid of two cards, and then send back to their hand. But the problem is, I don't know if I want to do that, because I could just send this back as well. Hmm. Alright, well let me attack them, 5-on-5, five and, five, and we'll see what they do. Hoping they may be able to just take one, for funsies. Okay, so they block that, which is fine. Because I could send this back to their hand. So how do we want to go about this? Let me do this. We get that. Um, yeah, let's just trash that. So do we walk off into this? I can minus two, get rid of two cards. So I could get rid of like, whatever. Or, yeah, I probably should do that and that. I mean, hmm trying to think so do this and this use our card action Should probably trash this and this so I'll get rid of that and that I'll return so I return Absalom or Perona so this is a 2k this is a 1 so let's just return that back because I uh, the off chance because they don't have another Absalom in trash so they'd have to need it like in hand for them to be able to do remove. So we'll kind of see what they do. Because again, if they can't get rid of Luffy, I got double attack. So we may have a chance here. And then next turn, because I could go this and this as well. So they're at eight. We'll see what, yeah, I don't know what to, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. We at least have this set up, but if they have the cost removal to be able to like delete one this turn and the delete one the next turn that'll be an issue but I'm making the gamble that they can't do that and we only have four cards in hand so if they drop Perona they can't do anything any shenanigans there so I want to play around that too because I don't want them to get Absalom back in their hand then leader attack like minus one of our our cost down and then go from there so I'm just playing the numbers game that uh, they can't do anything so they're doing doing that which is fine so I will block that one and it's a, uh, they have eight I don't know enough of all their options here because they don't have a blocker to bring back or anything from the trash like uh, which is fine which works Great Eruption, that card is banned. <laughs> okay. So, seven on five. Um, what is this? Return up to one, three, or... Dang it. If it was four, that'd be... Would have been clutch. So, they have five, so they're playing Sabo. I assume. 
Yeah, okay. So drop Sabo, draw two trash two. Alright, well, we know they have a 2k in hand. Okay, let's see how this goes. We get another Ivankov, which is fine. Could save both of these as well at the end here. So this is at uh, 5. Hmm. Because I can't use our ability. So probably don't really want to. So I could attack this 7 on 5. And get that get it back into here. Because they have Borsalino that they added. So I'm assuming they might try that. Hmm. So I just need 7. Okay. I will do... Well, I have nine, so I have these two, though. If I do seven, keep both of these, we could do that. So let me launch a... Let me just launch a five on five on them and see what they do. See what their, what their play is here. Okay, so they take a life. All right. That's fine. I'll attack uh, this guy, seven on five. All right, so they do that, which is okay. And then I'll attack uh, this seven on five. Can't really, can't use our card action. Like I could, but don't need it right now. Because again, I'm saving these. I want to return, make them return something to their hand for the upcoming turn. Because I'm going to hit this and this, and then I'll use our ability here to get us down to the, just these two. So we're attacking seven on five. All right, so that's fine there. So now I'll do this and this. Draw one. I'll trash this and that. Do that, and then end our turn. We get two back from... Inazuma here. I have this to play. So uh, here we go. This is where we make a where we make a stand. <laughs> Cause next turn, since I just got these two, I can then use Luffy's ability and then force them into some shenanigans. Cause we put we put them in a tough spot at the very least, because they have this, but they'd have to cost remove someone down all right so we'll see we'll see it's gonna be tough be a tough a little tricky but I also have, yeah having both of these which is I can use both so I'll return one of them they got to return something and then I play the other one make them return something again and then we'll go from there so they drop the ice age which is annoying but I mean it is what it is I'm assuming they got the eight cost ge gecko that they're gonna want to drop here all right, never mind. Okay. I'm still just gonna play this so they have to return this to their hand. <laughs> so, they're gonna drop, bring in Absalom. Well, I could do that. I could make him return both of them. Um, no blocker. We'll do that. So they gotta recall something. So they have to bring this back or Sabo. Unfortunately, I don't. If I had a 2K, this would be in the most perfect play ever. But I do not. So oh. Okay. So they recall that. Oh, no blocker. Make him recall Sabo. So that works. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything there. So we're a little bit short, but we cleared the board at least. All right, so how do we want to go about this? So I could do... We have both of these to get down. I could drop this as well. 
but we'll see. We'll just attack them uh, nine on five. I know they have a 2K, so we'll see uh, how it goes. But we're in a we're in a kind of good spot. I'm not gonna lie with uh, with that. But I don't know. We'll see. They still they could play Sabo again next turn. But if they play Sabo, and then that's only one blocker. So we kind of just playing around that. So they take the hit there. All right. So I have eight. I could attack. Probably attack a seven and a seven. And then I can drop this. And then I have two, which I can save for just in case. So let me do that. All right. Return. Oh, no, I should have kept that just in case for the upcoming turn. Or, hmm. All right. Well, let me just put the two on here. We'll attack him again, nine on five. All right. So they're making the play to block this. All right. That's fine. So leaves me with six. Then I'll just attack them five on five. All right, and then we'll drop uh, the the Luffy here. I get two back. So all right, we're chilling. We're chilling. Uh, there's no way they can get rid of two. I don't think. Well, I guess maybe they could attack, but I have I can block out of. They're both at seven, so I can block out of a nine. Of at least nine, and then we have this. So if they do play a blocker, I can send it, send it back. So if they play at Sabo again, we could just send it back to the bottom of their deck this time, and then we blast away. But it kind of just depends. So yeah, they play Sabo, which is like forced to, which is fine. All right, so they're going defense. All right, we we may pull, <laughs> we may pull this out. <laughs> It'd be crazy. I don't know. This is gonna be close. All right, Great Eruption. So they're dropping Great Eruption. But that only gets me to... We're only at four. Okay. So they're doing that. I guess, what, they're attacking me? Okay. So Absalom to get rid of Inazuma. Um, should I just block out of this? Because I just can play this to return the bottom deck this, and then we can make sure we're kind of chilling. So I'll go this and that. Alrighty, so I can drop this for six, bottom deck this, and then we just attack them. They'll leave me four, so I attack them seven. And then go from there. We'll go for it. And so we'll drop this. Let me attack them at seven on five. I could use a card action. I could return this back as well. You know what? Why not? Okay, they quit. <laughs> well, we would have been. We would have been. Uh, I mean, they could have survived that turn. But then I think we get them next. <laughs> like, uh, all right. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> the stack is. I'm winning with it, like not expecting to, but uh, yeah, being able to do so much is is pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. We gotta we gotta win. We're be we're beating people. I feel like uh, not really expected. Obviously, I feel like people probably haven't played against this, so they have no idea what to expect. But yeah, being able to go off some knowledge and stuff like that, it worked out. We got uh got the W there, but I would have attacked uh. If I would have, well, if I did return this to their hand, then they would have been, they would have had to use all of it to block out, but then they got the 2k that we saw. So they could have, well, I guess if I then launched the, I probably would have did seven again, and then they would have to do two, and then finish with nine, or if I, actually, I guess it works either way, because they got the, so let's say we were turning it back just for fun. So that gives them that. So one, two, said three k, five k. So yeah, either way we were fine. I could have done whatever I wanted. Is uh, if they block out of that, then they can't block out of the next one, and then we win. So yeah, I don't know. Ivankov, <laughs> going well. 
All right, we got some Yamato action. This one might be tough because I have no idea what to expect. So let me deploy this. Um, then we'll just do that because I have the 2K and I have this. So depending on what they do the upcoming turn, I may want I might want to just keep these to block out. And then I have pudding as well in case we want to get a little chaotic with things. All right, so that's kind of fine for there. So let me do this. All right, well, I don't need another one. So we'll put the three on. Actually, no, I'll put two on so I can keep one in case they, they go for it. So we'll attack them seven on five. See what they do here. Just again, get them to either two cards minimum or take a life. All right, well, that's nice. Okay, they get Shura. So we'll have to see what they do. They grab Ohm. Okay. So I assume they're playing Ohm. Ohm Holly here. And then that means I can block out of with something. I may just use this just for fun. Or should we save it? I may, yeah, I may sack a Inazuma. Because if they play Ohm, then uh, kind of go for that route. But also them also to them hitting me here isn't the worst thing to get two more cards to be able to play some stuff because we'll be at five next turn so I could play pudding if they have a bunch of cards in hand I'll play pudding and then keep this for one more turn potentially okay so they're dropping Onami all right um well now this is a problem because then they could send this back and then attack again so I may want to go this and this Alright, so we'll go two and we'll do that and that. Alright, draw a card. Okay, we get Luffy, which is pretty cool. Um So I'm putting for four leaves me one. I'll attack them once and we'll see what they do. And then I guess I'll draw. Okay, so they use ohm. Interesting. So that leaves me there. I can throw a pudding down, mix them up, leave one, and then hope they. I guess then it doesn't super ma as matter as much. All right, so let's do this. Um, <laughs> let's uh, yeah, just trash that. I guess. Don't need to do anything else there. I'll just throw this down. We'll leave one. Let's see what they do. And then next turn, unfortunately, I don't have the Vonk off, and so. We may just be playing Inazuma here, just to get the cards going, and then go from there. It's pretty much playing this deck, I feel like uh, getting Ivankov is just big, and not getting it so far isn't ideal. But we'll see what they do, I guess. Again, if they attack uh, for a bunch here. Okay, well, or they throw down the Gadatsu, which is fine. Um, actually, I'll let this one hit. Okay, we get two Kayas. All right, so we get this. So it puts me at seven. These are both six. And I have this. Dang, I should have blocked that, I guess. Um, so six. Leave one. I guess let me just attack uh, five on five. See, uh, see what they do. So they block it. Dang, they didn't have Ohm Holly. Okay, interesting. They didn't go for it. So I could play. Yeah, let's. Well, let's do this. See what we grab. Okay, so we grabbed that, which I don't need. Hmm. How do I want to go about this then? I could throw this down this turn. And then we play just Mega Defense. All right, so cancel that. Okay. And then I'll play uh, this the next turn. And then we'll kind of go from there. But I don't know. Not getting Ivankov on right here. Not uh, not ideal. So I think we might be in trouble. <laughs> but I mean, not over. Because we if I can block out of something... 
Well, the problem is just the, the leader attack, but I do have the two Ks. I have this and this. So unless I put all of them on, then that would be an issue. Because they can use their leader ability, which uh, is what sucks. But, I don't know, we'll see. It's like it's still, I don't know, if I can block out of this turn, we may have a chance. Because I could, I have a double attack with Luffy. But, yeah, not being able to drop the Ivankov into the Luffy, though. Because then I, being able to attack them twice would have been sick. Alright, so they're throwing down a blocker. Which is fine. I guess we'll see what they do. Because that leaves them with three, so I can do both Kaya's here. And do that. Or I could do this. And then make them send one of them back. Alright, so they do that. Um, then yeah, let's just block out with that and make them send back uh, <laughs> one of these three. Back into their hand. Because I think they're wanting to attack with Nami and with the... Okay, they send Nami back. Alright. That's fine, because now I can guarantee a block this. And then they can't attack uh, again. And so, we're okay. We're okay for now. So maybe I'll just get down to... Yeah, zero next turn as well. So block this and this, then I could just trash this. So no, do that and that. So I'll block them there. All right, so I have nine. Hmm. So if I play a blocker, then I could block them again. With uh, Luffy here. Well, I could just attack them here. They'd have to sack this or take two. And we know they have Nami, so then if I play the blocker and keep this, that could work. And then we keep this for one more turn. So a four, five, and then leaves me with all of this. Hmm. So one, two, three. I may just do nine. No, let's do ten. And I'll attack uh, them can't use our ability because uh, it's only four costs so give them a spot to either have to sack this or take two okay so that's fine with me so that's pretty big so I have this for four so one two three four and then we have this with a one so I can put one on here in attack or do I want to drop this well if I do that then I can't really block out of uh, anything so let's do Six and five. Alright, well, they miscalculated, I guess, with, the, with that. But, I mean, they might have got something off the, the life trigger here. Alright, so we'll deploy that, and then... Let me do this. Grab... Ooh. No, let's trash uh, that for now. Okay, so we have this, which is good, because I can block something. They kind of have to go for Luffy here, or they will lose, unless they get another blocker, I guess. So we'll see what they do. And then, yeah, I have this to block, uh, to get rid of something that they put out. And then I have a blocker as well, to block any, any, if I do a high level attack with uh, Yamato, then I'll block just with her. Our Mr. Three. And so, let's see. So they have seven. Um, well, I'll make the play there. This seven is for... Okay. And so... No. Let's do this. Because then, uh, force them into having to attack. And then no. 
with that. Because now I force them into having to do a bunch of stuff here. Because they have this for Hody Jones. So if they drop Hody Jones, then I can block... Well, actually, no, I can't. Because Hody can rest. Never mind. So if they drop Hody Jones and rest, then they can pop this. Okay. So never mind. They're going... Uh, interesting route. So I'll just do that. So I have assumed this for a blocker. We'll see. Uh, okay, they dropped Shura. So never mind. They don't have a blocker. Okay, <laughs> we might be chilling. <laughs> we might pull this out. I, they made a questionable play. I'm assuming if they, they needed to drop Hody there, rest our blocker, and then they could have cleared our board. Unless they don't have Hody, which is will be weird. All right, I will throw Buggy down. We will grab. Um, it doesn't super matter. So I want to end with zero, I think, on this turn. So I probably shouldn't have, I should have, wait, no, I can still trash at the end with this. Yeah, let me just do that, I guess, for now. And then let me attack them. Because I attacked them for a bunch here. So one, two, three, four, five. Leave four so I can attack this. I think that, that might be my play here. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Does it be, yeah, I'm there. Okay, now let me just do 11. 11 should be fine. So we'll attack them, 11 on five. And then I'll pop this, because we'll get them down to one. Or get them to sack everything in their hand. Okay, interesting. Because now I can go one, two, three. Well, I could play. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to go? I could just clear this off. We have Buggy. I could drop this guy as well. Because I have him at two. So if I put three on here, all right, so let me attack uh, eight on six. All right, then I want to drop this guy. And then we'll do that. End our turn, we get two. So we got a one, two K. All right, we'll see how this goes. Because we have them at two, even though we're at low here, they're also low <laughs> with the cards. So it's gonna be close. So I also have, I don't need this, but I have the 2K, which may become beneficial. Um, okay. Not exactly sure what they are going for. Nine on seven. All right, well, I can't really do anything about that, so that's fine. And then they're attack me, but we I still have, I'll be at two. I'm pretty sure they still have Hody Jones, yeah? So I, we'll see what, uh, I guess transpires here. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get blessed with the double 2k. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Get that out of here. And then we get Luffy. Okay. Alright. So we're at one. Hmm. Problem is I need some... We need some defense. Which I do not have. Alright, we get this. I'll throw that away um okay what is this three lesser to the owner's hand ooh well we could do that then get buggy back and then try to get a blocker 
All right, that could be the play. So attack them six, because we are assuming one's Hody Jones. So I'll attack them six with Buggy, then I'll attack them. No, I should attack them five with Buggy, because if I get a block, our blocker is four, so I need four. So then three, then three. Okay, so it's not impossible. And so we'll attack them five and five. All right, so they block that, which is fine. Um, so one, two, three. Okay, so we're still got a chance here. So we'll attack them five and five. All right, so they block that, which is fine. Oh, one or less card in hand. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm s dumb. <laughs> that was really dumb of me. Well, whoops. I misplayed. I misplayed out of this. Um, because dang it, because they can drop Hody. Well, if they drop Hody for seven, that leaves them three, so I can block out. Okay, we're still fine. We're still okay. So I'll just throw the two on here, get the guaranteed hit. Alright, yeah, we're still fine. Even though, yeah, definitely misplay out of me. I thought I misread this card. Whoops. But I mean, if they drop Hody for seven, that means they only can do this so I can block. And then we have a chance still. Because I'll be at 10 next turn. So I just gotta attack them for like seven. Because Hody, I believe, is the only rush that they got in this deck. So I think we're. Okay. Because uh, with the two up, I, I guess it's bluffing too. They probably think I have uh, the counter. So now they're they're thonking. But yeah, not me being dumb and not even reading the first part of this card. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, we're about to make the play. Whoops. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so they throw Gadatsu down. Um, sit ten on two. Okay. So we get pudding, which I can't really use. I have Luffy, which I can't use. All right, I just need to do this. We'll trash uh, Luffy, I guess. So I can block. Maybe I'll block. I just gotta block out of something here. So this gives me six. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, if that was four, that'd be perfect. Or if we just got, uh, kind of anything. So this is six, so I can go one, two, three, four. All right. We'll attack him nine on five. All right, we'll play, uh, this, and we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to take one. I don't know if I can, well, if I drop Hody, that's seven. So that's, what, eight? And then they could potentially buff this to eight, but I can block. We can block one. Okay, we don't, we can block. Uh, I'll fake them out. We'll do that and that. So now, if they drop Hody, the best they can do. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, I know they got a. I know they're wanting to drop Hody here. Watch this. Bang! Bang! Baited. Baited into it. <laughs> so now we're now we're chilling. Yeah, saw saw Hody coming there. But it doesn't matter. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, eight out of seven, that's fine. Because there's straight up uh nothing it, they can do to this. But yeah, that was a good one. Like, a very unexpected. Obviously, misplay out of me. I think we could have won it. Um, the previous turn, if I, I wasn't dumb <laughs> and if I knew how to read. <laughs> but uh, things worked out for us regardless there. Obviously, with the extra 2Ks that we run, being able to play around that. But I knew they had Hody, and we were just, w like, waiting. So being able to, pl like, play around that info was what was uh, I feel like helping and just how they were like playing they're playing around Hody 
which I felt, uh, you know, was not the play. Because, like, straight up, they could have won if they would have just used their Don on, like, a... Well, I would have still... I guess it would have been on the math, because if we had, uh... I could have blocked out of up to six. So, even if they did that, they would have had to... I don't know, it would have been a tough call. Like, they they don't know what's in, in my hand and stuff, you know? Just playing the, the chances there. So, they... Maybe, if they went a different route of that last turn, it would just depend on the math. Because, again, I just need to block out a one. So, being with the the 2Ks and stuff that uh, that we had, so... Because we had 6K to block out of. Plus whatever this would have been. So, yeah. They wouldn't have been able to use their ability, at least, if with just attacking. So, that would have been cool. But... Yeah, it would have just kind of depended on... If they would have split 5 and 5, then we would have been able to block out. As a, this would have only been 10, so we had 11. So I think we were good regardless there, of even if they did all that stuff. But obviously, though, too, me being brain dead and not reading the uh, our card. <laughs> one or less card. One or less cards in hand. I should have... Uh, yeah, did not compute that, but I mean, it was a wacky game. We pulled it out, but uh, yeah, Ivanka off is is pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. That was a uh, definitely a tough one, just because of we didn't get to hit our chain. I feel like if you hit the Ivanka off into Luffy, or at least into Zuma, it's it's pretty good. Like being able to get like seven K is out on your seven Don turn is pretty massive. But uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. Just messing around with some different stuff here as we wait for everything kind of get updated and jump back into like OP06 stuff. But yeah, Ivankov, pretty trolly little deck, being able to manipulate the cards and stuff into your opponent's hand. And yeah, kind of kind of like it and excited to see how things kind of play out in the future. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.